Like a stroll on the beach in the morning. It's 6 30 a.m. It's the uh, 21st of June, summer solstice. And, uh, behind me, you can see the Atlantic Ocean. I'm on the west coast of Donegal and uh, Port Nui. Just spent the night camping. A little campsite just up there, over the sand dunes. Beautiful spot. Look at this beach. Myself, although I don't imagine it'll be that busy. There's not too many folk in the campsite at the minute. Oh, that water's cold. So what's happening is, I spent the day yesterday on a bit of a wild goose chase up north, uh, north Donegal in, in this own peninsula. I'm trying to find a couple of sacred sites up there. A nice cup mark stone cir uh, standing stone, sorry, and a uh, stone circle, but I went to the exact location of the stone and it wasn't there. I had a Google Earth map with me and uh, pinpointed the exact site the stone was in, but it it's not there, I don't know. I don't know. Mysterious. It's a shame if someone's removed it. And the second, uh, the second site found it. Not too bad. Bukan Stone Circle. It's actually uh, remains of a cairn which had standing stones around it. But Fairly ruinous, I think there's only four or five stones. But it was within uh, 100 metres of, of the stones, I could see them, but once again the livestock in the field just put me off. It can be quite dangerous and uh, Be over uh, nosing and knocking stuff over and just pestering me. You wouldn't get peace to fill them. So yesterday was a bit of a bust. But I have more hope for today. I have two more sites to see today here in West Donegal. Jetsam, no bits of plastic, no litter. Mint, mint beach. See a couple of other folk here, early risers. Can't pull them under the sun now. Hopefully the sun will stay out. I had lots of heavy showers through the night, so 
didn't get a lot of sleep. But I'm not here for sleeping. So we'll paddle back up. Go back to the van, tidy up and that. And uh, get some breakfast and then go to hit the road. Not too far from here. It's a fairly famous Dolman Kilcluny portal team. In Kilcluny, obviously. I think it's about 10 miles from here. We'll see you up there then. Just made it up to the Dolman Centre at Coxlini. This is a little visitor centre. Just got here for 12 bells. It's just not unusual for a church to be here. Of course, if you're going to come here, you should always follow the rules. It's on private land. Show respect. There's another notice for you. So we're basically heading on up. So it's about five minute walk. And we'll see what happens when we get there. Super friendly again this time. Look at them sleeping up there. See the dolmen up near the horizon there. I think there's a couple of people there. I imagine there would be a few visitors today. It's a special day. just found out from a, a guy in the car park that this morning there was actually an alignment and, a, and the sun rose it shone directly into the chamber and illuminated the stone at the back um, I'll show you that when we're up there but uh, unfortunately I missed it this year it's one for the diary though See the person about the dolmen now. Not sure how well the camera's picking it up. Right, they walk past this wee outcrop here. Just remember that wee place. I'll tell you a wee story about that later. Big sky. The mountains all around. This is 
is the outcrop I was talking about. And there she is. Cochrane Portal Tomb. What a beautiful thing. Wow. That's awesome. That's the nicest dolmen I think I've ever seen. I just hung back a bit until those other people were finished. I think they were just paying their respects as well. Oh, check this out. Wow. Hey. That is a thing of beauty, don't you think? Look how finely the capstone's balanced. So it has that little prop at the back to get the perfect angle on the cap. That's amazing. Chamber still well formed, no damage. And what a place! Have a look round. Mountains. More mountains. <sighs> I just feel the stress falling off me now. While I'm here, I've got a new tool for this one um, full spectrum camera. As the name suggests, you probably know, but it sees from ultraviolet right down to infrared, which we can't see with our naked eye, so... I'm going to set that up just while I'm here, let it run. You never know. be interesting. So I have my little full spectrum camera, just over there. Let it run just while I'm here. I'm going to make a small offering. I brought this with me. Um, just with it being the summer solstice, as a mark of respect. tied together with a wee bit of wool. All biodegradable. There's actually a second uh, second little portal team. Just there. There's a smaller one. It's unusual with a lintel stone. Unfortunately, the caps collapsed on it. Um, but it 
at one time both these both these tombs were buried under a huge cairn if you can imagine that probably stretched from here I don't know, right over that one around here I suppose must have been huge all these loose stones must have been part of it see a stone wall over there, that's slightly part of it Plenty of big boulders all over this landscape. Left over from the Ice Age. Even driving along the road you can see gigantic boulders in people's small front gardens, you know, it's funny. I think I'll just sit over here for a little while take in the atmosphere. Right underneath the capstone. Look at that baby, it's massive. to show you inside the chamber through the portal but I just had to adjust my exposure there it's quite dark under here hopefully you can see things okay portal to the other world place to be laid to rest. I'd like something like this when I go. Just my exposure again, I'll have another walk around to show you the other little cairn behind. Just before I forget, I must tell you the story of the little hillock. Just over there, to the north. It said that if you're here in the twilight and uh, the conditions are right, a huge black hound will appear on that hillock out of nowhere and stare at you for a while, check you out. and then bind off and mysteriously vanish into thin air. It's a good tale. Could be the spirit of a hound that was buried here with its master maybe. Um, to protect the site, watch over it, you know. So if we ever up here in the twilight hours, keep an eye out to the north. You just never know. Look at that capstone from this angle. 
Looks like a giant bird sitting on top. That's fantastic. I like it. That's the other little cone. Let's have a wee look at that. That's unfortunate. You see the little lintel there? Which I believe, as I say, is quite a rare design feature for a dolmen. Usually capstone just rests on the three points, as you know. Such a shame that slid off. It's a huge side slab. It's just given way, leaned over a bit, and that's been enough. Still mighty impressive. And that capstone must weigh phew, a couple of tons anyway, I'm guessing. I'm so glad I got some time here to myself today. It's just not the same when there's other people. You can't get shit in video, they're all curious and curious. Asking questions. I'm good. There's still another location to do today, so. Probably best hitting the road. I think it's maybe an hour's drive away. It's another quite famous place, Beltaney or Tops Stone Circle. Um, so I'll make my way down and uh, I'll not forget this place for a long time. Meadow pipits all around. Don't know if the auto's picking that up. Lots of little butterflies. So small but beautiful colours. Little wildflowers. It's a lovely place. Let's go. One last leg. Remember that hillock? Well, I heard something there. Just a wind. Forget to close the gate when you're here. Keep the donkeys in. 
Hello boys. It's actually a style anyway. So that's it for Kilcleany Portal Team. Really enjoyed that. Uh, get back to the van, quick cup of coffee. And I'll hit the road. Plenty of daylight today. <laughs> There's no rush. I'll see you around there then. That's me here, as you can see by the sign. I was here before, years ago, but I've really forgotten it all. Just give you a look back down the hill, it's quite steep, I don't know if you're picking that up. A completely different atmosphere in Kilcliney. It's much more like we're going to see the ferries. So let's keep going and see what we find. There's something in there. Stone wall. What do you make of that? No, no. Stones scattered everywhere. It's definitely a wall. Looks like it's been a round wall at one time. Pretty old looking, that's for sure. Interesting. I'm sure someone knows what it was for. Keep on up the path. We're at the top now. So. Leveled out nicely. Got a few experiments. I brought my EMF meter again. I'm going to try with the 
um, incense sticks. Uh, I'll be setting up my full spectrum again, as well as just having a walk around. Awesome. Look at those flowers again. So that's the wee information board again. You can pause the video if you want to read that. And there's a story of the there was a carved Celtic stone head found not far from here. I think it's currently in the museum in Dublin. Let's go on up to the stones. There's no more time. Lambs are getting big. Just been shown to the bigger ones. <laughs> Look at this for a sight. Not bothered in the slightest. So here we are, I'll, uh, I'm going to set up my experiments straight away. This way we'll have the place to ourselves here. And uh, then we'll do a walk around and let you see stuff. Check out different stones. So we'll get set up and get back to you. Okay guys, that's me set up. Here's what we've got. That's my full spectrum. And I've chosen these two stones, the one on the left being the biggest one in the, in the whole circle. Massive. Um. Thank you. Massive stone. So I've got it locked off camera. Focused on my EMF meter, just let the incense burn down and again we'll just see what happens. Get a little offering again of the wheat. Just as a gesture of respect. So I'll take a walk around and show you some of the other stones just why that's happening. Might as well start with this one, that's the other side of the big stone I'm uh, focusing my cameras on. Gigantic. See him again buried underground, you think? Quite lightly. It is leaning back a little. I wonder were those two pressed close together at one time? Falling backwards, that's a nice one. I think that's buzzards. Some sort of raptor. Could be young buzzards. Just let me show you the view again.
right on top of the hill. Big sky again. Let's continue on. I think originally this was a very large burial cairn in the middle. And the standing stones, the circle of stones was built around it. It's just quite rough in the centre now. The cairn's been totally dismantled. I read somewhere in the 17th century it was um, Pillies for building stone, for cottages, stone walls, etc. And I think there was some archaeology, but there's rumours of uh, bones and pots and stuff, but unfortunately it's long since disappeared. No real evidence of it now. But what we're left with here is a Absolutely amazing achievement for these people. I mean, it blows my mind the effort and the thought, planning that went into getting this here. It's incredible. that happy sheep again. <laughs> Big stones, small stones, pointy stones, round stones. seen any cut marks on the stones. It's not to say there isn't any. Just hard to find. Big circle. I've forgotten the diameter of it, but uh, it really looks good from the sky. quiet here now. I just love it. It's good for the spirit visiting these places. Even if it's just the only good out in nature for the day. So that's us back at the centre or the big the big stone at the at the start. I think I'll just go and sit down in the middle for a while and uh, soak it up and let my experiment continue. And give it another 15 or 20 minutes. Don't want to stay too much longer than that. It's been a long day, long couple of days. And uh, I still 
still about a three hour drive to get home so I'll sleep well tonight no doubt Standing in the exact centre, as far as I can make out. Of the circle, the time is actually 4:45, which is purely by coincidence the totality of the solstice. Which is pretty cool being here for that. Unfortunately, it means the light's going to start slipping away from now on. Well, it's been a good day. One big outland stone just over there. I'll have a walk over and have a look at that. It's probably a lens maybe with that far peak there. Some sort of cosmic event. Nice shape that one. Good point on it. It's uh, roughly lined up with the hilltop. We'll have a look from the other side. Yeah, it lines up with that other stone, the pointy stone there. Hope you can see that. Nice big stone too, isn't it? I think that's me finished for another episode. Just to pack up my kit, the experiment's finished. Um, obviously review the footage when I get home and if there's anything you'll definitely see it. So thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed it, Donegal special been special for me and uh, I'll see you on the next one. All the best. Mm -hmm.